Freedom! Wake up, boy! How can you sleep at a time like this? Come on, Dad. We're searching dusty old books at 2 a.m. in the morning. Uh, can't imagine why I dozed off. Exciting, isn't it? And what's more, I'm really onto something here. After all these years of research, I'm about to prove my Genesis theory. And if you do, we can stop reading? Wow, this is really exciting. Hmm? Well, in any case, I need you to find my new assistant in the library wing. There's a book there that I need. The old library might contain the book my dad needs. But where is his assistant? It's locked. Excuse me, miss. I'm looking for my father's new assistant. Most likely a scruffy old fellow, a nerdy sort of type. Probably smelling like musty old books. Well, I'm Evelyn Appleby, your father's new assistant. You must be Adam. Am I the sort of type you're looking for? Yes. I mean, no. I, I mean, I, I only meant, uh... Oh, I think I know what you meant. Now, would you help me with these paintings? According to Professor Venture, they're the key to unlocking the library door. Uh, mushroom, antelope, the young ones. How do I win this game? No game, Adam. These paintings represent five former faculty deans, known as the Enlightened Ones. The library contains their private collections. Lumen is the Latin word for light, so this must be a clue. You're not just saying that because I won, are you? Hey, not so fast. How is Lumen supposed to get us into the library? Wait for me! Seeing as you like games, why don't you crack the lock? Oh, did you figure it out? So, now that we're locked in the library, we might as well get that book. Which one is it? I thought you knew. Professor Venture just mumbled, it will be staring right at you, and kept on reading. Um, yeah, he tends to do that, I'm afraid. <sighs> We'd best start looking. Evelyn, look, I found the staring book. <laughs> you could say it just caught my eye. <laughs> it caught my eye? Seriously? That's right. I'm good looking and funny. What more can you want in a guy? Uh, right now, I just wish to find a way out of here. Adam Venture, putting the vent into Venture since 1901.
Wait, what? How, how did you get out of there? It's called a door, Adam. You might want to try it sometimes. You just had to pull instead of push. Just warn me the next time you're going to pull this on us. You know what? You actually smell a lot better than my dad's previous assistant. That's kind of, well, sweet, actually. Professor Venture, here's that book you've asked for. History of the Enlightened Ones, right? Ah, most excellent. Yes, that's right. And I see you've met my son as well. Splendid. Splendid. <clears throat> so, why did you need the book, Dad? The so-called Enlightened Ones found something. Something important. This book will reveal their secret. I'm telling you, son, this is it. The Book of Genesis. Books about the Book of Genesis. Books about the books about the Book of Genesis. Books about... Slowly, put the book down. No one needs to be hurt. Give it back, Adam. I don't think he's kidding. Wow, where am I? Ah, man, that hurts. Dad? Dad? Evelyn? Can I call you Evelyn? Hmm, guess not. Just what I was looking for. It's locked. <laughs> this is incredible. Beyond imagining. Unbelievable. My dad was... right? Oh, and this room's pretty amazing as well. Hmm, something's missing. I should look around a bit more. These trinkets seem quite useful. Another priceless piece for my ever-growing collection.
four of these round discs. Soon they'll have me playing checkers down here. Yes, I've got to tell my dad. The weather's nice. Look at those trees. They're nice, too. Yeah, everything's nice. So, you're absolutely sure we're on the road to lose this time? Of course I am. I can read a map like a... a book. My point exactly. You're not quite like your dad, are you? Which is why he sends me to do his field work. Now, let's go see what this holdup's all about. Excuse me, sir? We'd like to go to Luz and... Pas de problème. A mechanician will be here to fix my car in three hours or so. Three hours? But what about your mail? Just a package for that crazy professor who's studying our town. Pas de problème. Um, would you be willing to take us there? Once my car's fixed? Pas de problème. You wouldn't happen to have a wrench, now, would you? No, uh, the problem. I know. Thanks anyway. So, why do you want to visit our professor? Well, it all began when Adam found a secret room, hidden below... Merci bien, monsieur. I will deliver my package. See, I told you. Power the problem. I think this postman's got a fake accent. Can we trust him? have arrived. Welcome to the beautiful town of Luz, known for its lovely, um, known for its, um, well, you know what I mean. Hey, you down there. Hello, I'm Adam Ve- Yes, yes, get that package up here, boy. You're late. The grumpy old geezer didn't even hear me out. Said he wants his crate delivered to the roof. Well, I just got it out of the truck. So it's time for a break. Union rules. Seriously? 
Oh, never mind. Let's just deliver the crate ourselves. We might yet learn something from this professor. Sure, like how to be rude. But fine, I'll deliver the stupid crate. Um, a little help here? The crate looks a bit too heavy for me, but you're doing a great job, Adam. <laughs> you know, Evelyn, I think you would make a great postman. At last, the final parts. Well, are you expecting a tip, boy? Get off my roof. Me? Get off your roof? I'm Adam Venture. Danger trembles when it hears my name. I... Adam, shh. Um, my companion here is trying to say that we share your interest in Luz. Do you? Why? What do you know? Hmm. I could... How about you fix the rest of my windmills? Then we'll talk. Why do you want those wind? Let's just go along with it, Adam. Twirling windmills might cheer him up. You see, all men are like children. That's just not fair. I'll tell my dad you said that. Right. Well, if you take this side, I'll go there. At least she's helping for once. Best leave her to it. Technology is scaring off the birds. Typical. Adam, would you mind giving me a hand? I can't seem to fix my last windmill. That was easy. Oh, did you figure it out? Ah! 
That works! That works! A triumph for science! No, a triumph for me! Finally, I'll be able to enjoy a decent cup of coffee in this barbaric town. And just the right strength. With a splash of something, too. Professor Santa um, why are you researching this town? Plus, and its church in particular, are of interest to the company that's funding my research. I'm not at liberty to discuss it. Oh, come on. Not even after our contribution to your, um, scientific revolution? Hmm. Scientific progress does taste rather good, and my research is absolutely stuck anyway. You know what? Fire up the projector and I'll tell you what I don't know. Finally, we got him to talk. You didn't spike his coffee, did you? How does your projector work, Professor? Simple. It converts an electric current into light, which is then focused into a beam by a series of lenses. Its photonic will then... Wow. Um, thanks. Great help. <laughs> 